On calm mornings at certain times of the year, you will see schools of striped mullet. And that means it's time to get your net throwing friends and family ready for a nighttime excursion. But while we wait for the sun to go down, let's check out the crab trap. If you like crabbing, you need to know about these. Look at this. It's a collapsible mesh crab trap. They all fold down flat. You could pile a whole bunch of them, one on top of the other in the boat. They even come with a little bag for you to put the crab bait in. But in my case, I'm gonna use this little lobster trap uh, uh, bait box. And it's just a matter of baiting it. Just clipping all the clips together and deploy it in the ocean. Catching a crab has never been easier. Okay, here's the plan. It's going to get dark soon. Time to gather the friends and the gear and load up the boat. We are planning to do a few nights of net throwing. With a little luck, we just might catch a few of those fish we saw this morning. So, this is the drill. On those rare nights when the moon and the winds are down and the tide is right, we go looking for our target fish, striped mullet. How many did you get? One. Okay. One is good. Let's go get the one. Let's go get them. That's a nice fish. On the scoreboard. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Well, that's one for the good guys. Let's get back at it. Take the scoop now, and you go over the fish without alarming it, because bad things happen when you alarm it. Go slowly. It's going to take two people, because one person has to keep their foot on the handle to keep that net flush. There you go. There you go. Watch out. Yeah, you got it. I don't understand why that fish is in the net like that. I know. When I did the first, yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be. It should be another net. Under it should be under it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good thing you got it. <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> right on, Nico. A couple more fish and we can call it quits early. <laughs> As you can see, folks, we seriously want these fish. Okay, Keith, pick that net up, then we're going to go and take care of Nico's fish. Do you see him? As it often turns out on fishing trips like these, we spend a fair amount of our time diving. Not bad, right on guys. That was a lot of fun. So, let's try it again.
There goes one. Bonefish in Hawaii are known as o'iu. Here in the islands, they are commonly used in two favorite recipes. One, known as lomi o'iu, has the fish combined with seasonings and is served raw. The other preparation, called fish cake or kamaboko, is enjoyed as a cooked menu item. Nicely done, Keith. For those of you who do not personally fish for ocean mullet, you may not know that catching these fish from December through March is illegal. So if you enjoy eating steamed mullet as much as we do, you have only until November 30th to catch one. Well, that was another pretty quick outing. Just enough fish for us, but we still have enough energy for one more trip. Well, this turned out to be a great way to spend time with my family and friends before the mullet season ends. But there is one last thing we need to check on. This is what is known as a Samoan crab. Those of us who fish for them are scared of them. <laughs> These crabs are fast and aggressive. They are so strong and so powerful, it's been said that they can snap a broomstick in half with their claws. But the challenge of handling them is worth it. That's because they are delicious. Just remember, don't get your fingers any closer than needed until that crab is done cooking. Folks, don't go away. Much more on the fishing show right after this. <laughs> 